hello friends and welcome to this acrylic painting tutorial and here we'll be painting this beautiful peacock head as you can see this is the finished piece so this is the reference image we are going to use and it's from pixabay i'll put the link down in the description box below for you guys to check it out Here I'm using the canvas by the brand name Artis and the size is 10 by 10 inches. I'm not going to prime this canvas because it's already double primed so we'll directly start with our background colors. So here I'm using a flat brush number 11. You can use whatever brush you have on hand or with which you are comfortable. You don't have to use the same as mine. And the same thing goes for the background colors. If you don't have the same colors, you can use colors similar to them or you can do a completely different background up to you. These are all the colors we will be using for our background. So now let's begin. Let's start by wetting our brush and drying out the excess water on a paper towel and we are going to mix all the three colors here are cadmium yellow, buff titanium and cad yellow deep and adding a bit of Indian yellow with it and then applying onto the canvas. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a dollop of color onto my brush and directly applying onto the canvas. We are not going to mix it on our palette, we are going to apply it on the canvas and then blend our colors all together. So right now I have applied buff titanium somewhere, I'll apply titanium white somewhere yellow and like that we are going to cover our background.
so now that we have covered our background uh, we'll start by taking a little bit of titanium white and applying on to some areas and we are not going to completely blend it we are just going to apply and leave it like that Here I'm using a powder brush or you have a mop brush you can use that too. This one is from Real Techniques and we are going to just spray a little bit water on it and then using a circular motion with a very light hand we'll start blending our colors out. So in this process you have to work a little bit faster because acrylic paint dries really fast. So here you can see there are lumps forming and this is because of your brush so you need to clean your brush or you can use another brush and uh, we'll start again with a similar process go in a circular motion and just smooth the background out. I have cleaned my brush here and I'm using a paper towel to dry it out and I will go over the area where I can see some brush strokes and just smooth them out or you can use completely new brush here if you want.
so now we'll start with our second layer and before we start we are going to completely dry our previous layer so here I'm using a hair dryer for that so it's very important that you make sure that your previous layer is completely dried before you start painting a new layer uh, because if it's not then it can actually pull the previous color off your uh, canvas or sheet and it will leave an ugly patch Now starting with our second layer for the background, we'll do the same process uh, as we did in the first layer and it's just because to make our canvas more smoother, brighter, adding more contrast, more highlights. If you feel like uh, you don't need another layer, you can totally leave it but I would recommend uh, doing at least two layers for the background.
Okay guys so we are done with our background and this was a second layer and now we let it dry completely before we start with the next step. So our next step is to draw a rough outline of the peacock and there are two options one you can directly draw onto the canvas or the second one which I am going to use is drawing our outline first on a rough sheet then using a baking paper or transfer paper to transfer that drawing onto the canvas by using a graphite paper. So I have already drawn a rough outline of the peacock and now we are going to transfer this onto the canvas by using a graphite paper. So this is the graphite paper I am using and we are going to put this underneath our baking paper and we will start drawing over the lines by putting a little bit pressure. You can use a pencil or a dotting tool here and then the image will be transferred onto the canvas. Here I have used a scotch tape to secure our baking paper. You can also use masking tape as well. So now let's start with our base color. So first we'll start with the beak and here I will be using Winsor Newton Pale Umber. Here I'm using angle brush number three uh, you can use a round brush here if you don't have this one and uh, we'll start by covering the beak area with the mix of pale umber and titanium white.
so now we'll start with our second layer and why we are doing this is because we want our uh, base color to be quite opaque so that we cannot see the background yellow Now let's add another color. Here I'm using Ultramarine Blue by Dalla Rowney and you can use any blue shade, it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, we'll take a little bit and we'll mix it with our Pale Number and Titanium White. So we want a nice light blue color here and we'll cover the rest of the area leaving the eye part.
so now that our beak part is completely dried we'll start with the main colors so first i will be using burnt amber here uh, please keep looking at your reference image because we are going to paint accordingly you can open the image in your ipad tablet or you can have a printout and as we progress through our painting i will keep adding color as required Now applying little bit of burnt umber on the round edges of the beak and using just a little bit of water we will start blending the color out. So here I have switched my brush and I'm using a round brush number 0 for the beak uh, to get into that pointed area and we will be using our titanium white and applying little bit and then again blending the color out.
Now we'll make a very light round shape with whatever color is left on our brush. Please keep looking at your reference image for the detailing and small shapes. Now let's add some Mars black and we are going to add a little bit of burnt umber with it. Now let's take our burnt sienna and blend it together with our titanium white. A 
okay guys so now let's add two more colors so first one is our cadmium red deep from Dalla Rowney and another one we are going to use is transparent mixing white from Liquitex soft body so just a short info on the transparent mixing white that it's completely different from a titanium white and it is best used when you want to create more subtle color mixes or you can lighten a color without the white overing power the mixture different brands have different name for this color for example liquitex uses transparent mixing white golden uses zinc white uh, dalarauni uses zinc mixing white so yeah you can look out for these colors
Now let's apply some titanium white on the highlighted portion of the beak.
Now using a mix of ultramarine blue and mars black, we'll start applying our dark blue shade on the body of the peacock. If you don't have ultramarine blue, you can use any blue color here, uh, it's perfectly fine.
Now using a mix of Mars Black, Persian Blue and Sap Green, we'll start applying the color all over the light blue area.
Now I'm going to mix color for our eye base and here I will be using titanium white and burnt umber. So now let's add a little bit of titanium white to our previous mix and we are going to apply this on the outer area as you can see right now. Uh, this is just because to define clearly the outer line and the center part of the eye.
Now using titanium white we'll start making the feathers and here the brush I'm using is the same one round brush number zero and we are going to add a little bit of water in our titanium white and we'll start with the upward brush strokes and we are going to do it all over the peacock body uh, leaving a little bit of space in between so that we can see the darker background here direction of the hairs are really important so please keep looking at your reference image and according to that see in which direction the hairs are moving and move your brush accordingly
Now let's start applying different green shades and yellow on top of our white feathers. Make sure they are completely dry before you start coloring. So now let's start painting the eye and here I'm going to mix burnt umber plus Mars black and we are going to apply this on the outer area and the center part will be pure burnt umber and the outside will be a little bit darker.
so now let's mix sap green and titanium white and we are going to make a nice light green color and we are going to use the same brush uh, round brush number zero which we did before for the feathers and we are going to do the same process as we did last time so we are going to take the color and uh, moving in upward motion and in whichever direction the feathers are going you will start painting So here I am mixing uh, Persian blue with light green permanent and if you don't have the light green permanent you can use sap green plus titanium white plus Persian blue. Uh, you don't have to use the same colors so uh, in the peacock head we are trying to uh, mix different uh, kind of greens and blues so if you have different kinds of green and blue colors you can try that on. So here I'm taking a little bit of Mars black and making the outer corner of the eye a little bit darker. So here I'm just using a powder brush to smooth out the color and uh, it's completely optional and I don't think I will be using this in the rest of our painting.
So now let's switch from round brush to liner brush and here I will be using liner brush number 0.
here i'm using a liner brush if you have a detailing brush you can use that too uh, we are just going to use a little bit water and we are going to blend out the lines which we made before by using burnt umber
okay guys so now let's start with the background and if you want to leave your background plain and simple so please skip this step you don't need to do anything so here I am going to take a small makeup sponge and just dab your color onto it and directly onto the canvas it's pretty simple and on the right side we are going to add a little bit uh, darker yellow shades on on the left side a little bit lighter so here is a small tip for you guys uh, if you have a drawing gum you can apply on the peacock on the outer edges of the peacock so that when you start dabbing on the sponge the color doesn't get onto our painting and you can easily remove after our background is completely dried so i didn't have the gum at that time so i will be going over the area where it's covered with the sponge as you can see that i have already painted the left side of our background uh, here I have used same sponge technique which I am using right now. The colors I have used there are titanium white with the mix of cad yellow medium or cad yellow light. You can use any yellow color you have. And for the feathers for the peacock on, on the top of its head, uh, I am going it over uh, with the sponge right now so we will be painting it again.
okay guys so now let's start with the peacock's uh, feather on the top of its head so i have already used a scale and a pencil and i have drawn some few straight line i think you can see it now using a mix of burnt umber mars black and titanium white and here i'm using a liner brush or if you have a detailing brush with long bristles you can use that too so i will be going over those lines with our color
Okay guys so we are almost done with our painting and here I'm just adding some final touch ups adding some shadow some highlight some brightness to our peacock later on I'm going to add uh, using our sponge I'm going to add some white circles on our background but otherwise it's done.
okay guys so i'm done with the painting adding some few circles here and if you want you can layer a few feathers uh, if you want you can keep on adding little bit layer adding some brightness shadow if you are not satisfied yet with your painting but for me it's completed uh, i hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial and i will see you in the next one bye